I was on social media almost each and everywhere on LinkedIn. They were like, okay, there's a webinar and it's just I attend in yeah. Ghana. I work yeah. everywhere, everywhere. You guys, this what we're doing right now, don't take it lightly For because I remember mm-hmm. I did the same thing as you. Yeah. I was on every YouTube page. Like, yeah. to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber and if you have been been here please give yourself a laser thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed what are you doing please do subscribe as you guys can see i'm not alone i am with the girl that i promised that i will bring you she's also a shivanin scholar yeah. yeah okay so like she said i'm stacy i am from tanzania which is in east africa and i am studying infection biology and immunology also at the university of glasgow as promised uh i said i'm going to bring somebody else so that they can give you a perspective view of their experience and how it was and also how what kind of advice they could probably give you because i gave you in part one so she'll be doing part two which kind of points would you say someone needs to take particular what cognizance on uh when it comes to the shipping interview okay so um can i start like with my experience a little yeah, bit? yeah, no yeah. Problem. yeah no problem. so of course you've been waiting for this for a long time because you, you submitted it back in november yeah yeah and it's like how many months five months now five months, yeah. almost six yeah five months. Waiting yeah, period this yeah. so it's it's a long time so yeah. this just probably some people even move on and they forget about it they start doing different things mm. so this is something that you've been waiting for a long time and you don't want to mess it up so one thing that I remember I was told is that you need to start practicing now. Mm. Like you need to start mentally preparing for it right now because there's so many people like you who qualified and who got called to the interview and so many people like you who are competing for the same position. So just start mm. practicing as soon and as early as, as possible. possible. Mm. Like I used to talk to myself in the shower. <laughs> like I used to ask myself, there's general questions and I think we will talk about them as well. Yeah. There's general questions. There's a general question structure that are, that is asked mm-hmm. globally. Mm-hmm. But then it's just practicing how to communicate, mm-hmm. how to be confident, how to relax, how to have a flow in your answers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but practice makes perfect. By the time you get to the interview, you'll be so relaxed that you'd even surprise yourself. Yeah. 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 Do you have any idea of how many of you were invited? Mm, I actually don't remember. But I remember when I chose my date, I chose the last date yeah. available. Yeah. Like mine was the last, last, last day. I wanted to hear about people's experiences, what yeah. questions they were asked. Mm. You know, just so that I can relax myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, but some people are like, No, I just want to be the first because one to do it. Like myself. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. So yeah. it's it's really up to you yeah. and the kind of person you are. I don't remember, but I think it was probably 40 people oh my god yeah because in your country you get that a lot yeah, yeah there's like 16 17 of us yeah like that's yeah. a lot and yeah. with us it's just only six of us that are yeah. chosen and i feel like uh, we went to an interview i think it was 10 or 12 no no 12 of us i think i think mm-hmm. so 12 of us yeah. yeah so which are the general questions that you kind of like remember and then how would you advise other people to like uh, respond to them okay so one question I remember that is pre- imprinted into my mind is, tell us about yourself. Mm. Mm. And I remember I prepared for this question so much and mm. my mentor told me, type out your answers so that you can have an idea of the flow of your yeah, yeah. sentence and how you're going to say it. Just mm. just to have like a skeleton. Yeah, okay. So I remember, tell us about, tell us about yourself. Mm. Um, the other general questions that we did was why the uk what what do you expect to benefit from studying in the uk yeah um but then there were all these questions that we practiced yeah. and i practiced mm. but then Surprise only question. one only one question came from all of those and it was just tell us about yourself so i fully believe that's the standard question that um, almost yeah. everyone gets asked yeah. so really practice that and i remember i was so confident about it mm. that the interviewer is like okay i'm just going to stop you right there because <laughs> i feel like you know yourself yeah and yeah. we're going to finish all 
other information for other questions so i'm just going to stop you right there yeah. so i feel like if you practice that question you'll have the confidence mm. the other thing i remember is don't state your cv oh yeah when somebody yeah. says tell us about yourself mm. don't start saying about your cv like mm. they already have that yeah remember? With them. yeah mm. okay. and they also have your statements your essays yeah. they have all of that yeah. the other thing i remember is tell us about yourself don't start saying your name yeah, yeah i really don't so like boring. that <laughs> yeah. it's so boring because yeah. you didn't just walk in like you're a stranger yeah. they have they know all the information yeah. about you yeah. they, they know exactly who walked in and when they when i walked in at least they welcomed me they were so friendly mm. they're like come in stacy yeah. have a seat stacy so yeah. then for them to be like tell us about yourself and then i'm like hi my name is stacy <laughs> i know <laughs> i didn't like the idea of that but yeah yeah. don't 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 stitch your name no. so just keep it you know relax yeah yeah, yeah. drink water <laughs> yeah tell us about yourself you know they, they also give you a piece of paper and pen you can yeah. write your key points, key points. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like so that you keep the flow going, going yeah. they won't stop you they won't be like ah, this person is taking too long now it's yeah. I actually think it's a good thing yeah if you yeah. use that pen and write okay this is what I do this is what I am mm -hmm. these are my passions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it just allows you to flow without repeating yourself so much mm -hmm. um and also, it helps with the surprise questions. How many hmm. interviewers were there? There was four. Four. Oh my gosh, that's the first three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys obviously had somebody from the embassy, right? Yes. And then and then the people, somebody from the embassy, mm -hmm. people who work with the Chevening Ch recruitment. Oh. And then I think there was one lady who is the admin for the Chevening program in mm -hmm. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. She was also there. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they all ask questions depending on their interests or depending on what they're looking for to know about you. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the questions just come differently. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. okay. But they were very, very, very nice. nice. Like, looking back, they were the nicest interviewers yeah. ever. Ever, ever. Yeah. I also had the best experience ever. Like, mm. they were so welcoming. I feel like they all they are doing it deliberately because, you know, people are kind of, like, scared and whatnot. So they're trying by all means to make sure that we are at home. Like, yeah. we are at home. What is one thing or what is one of the things that you wish you knew before going to an interview that you're like, I wish I knew this, you know, or maybe I think I would have done it this way instead of this way. Like, do you have anything in mind? Mm, yeah. Mm, okay. I wish I knew to do... Okay, it's one thing to know about what you're going to study, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know that. I knew that I was going to come and study immunology and infection biology. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to be informed about current affairs. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. when these people are asking you these questions, mm -hmm. you need to find a way to make it... To, to convince them mm. that you are more than what you're going mm. to study that mm. you actually know what's happening in the world mm. so i remember it's something that i didn't prepare for mm. it's just something i was interested in i remember i read it a day before the interview there yeah. was a marburg virus in tanzania yeah. northern yeah. tanzania near my home mm. and it's something that i never thought about like oh this could be a talking point yeah. but when I went into the room and the last question they asked me was, what would you like Tanzania to be known for? Mm. That could mean anything. Mm, yeah. Because it's something that I never thought about before. I'm yeah. like, what do I want Tanzania to be known for? Mm. Mm. As a tourism. Bear in mind, I have my pen and paper. I'm like, do, yeah. oh, what, what do I have to do with tourism? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I going to be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I need to make it be attached to me. Yeah. Then I remembered, okay, fine. I don't know much. I don't know the statistics of this. I don't know the accurate information. But this is something I can talk about. Oh, this is something yeah. I can be interested in. Yeah. So I just wish I knew that beforehand. Mm. That just be aware of current affairs around your topic of interest. Mm. So that when somebody asks you a question that you did not expect, mm. you have an idea of what to answer that is relevant to you. Mm. Don't start talking about farming and education if you're not going to be in agriculture yeah. and you're, going, you're not going to be a, an educator mm. you know because these are general issues talk mm. about something that is specific to 
what you want to come and do mm. yeah i think yeah. that's one thing that i wish i knew yeah. and you really right when you say that like you need to be informed about anything that is happening to you and then you should choose or talk about something that is really related to you because yeah. it also shows that you know yourself yeah. like you, should, you should know mm. what you want because remember guys it's one of the most competitive scholarships how many people want the same scholarship yeah like so so, so many, many so many so which means that you need to stand out in all possible ways mm -hmm. it is about your grades because you do need a university to accept you yeah but it's about your personality as a person because you're asking Chevney to invest so much money in you they need to know that mm. this person has goals into the future mm. this person is going to take this opportunity and grow into it it doesn't have to be perfect but they just need to see that potential shine out of you yeah. and one of the steps is you need you have to show that mm. you know i'm yeah, interested I'm... in my field in my topic whatever it is yeah it could be theater it could be art mm, do you remember any other question that was like kind of surprised you maybe like oh my god i wasn't expecting this kind of question but maybe they kind of like asked you so other than the other one yeah. of how do you want what do you want tanzania to be known for that was the yeah. closing question for me yeah. um honestly no because i was too nervous yeah. <laughs> yeah but um i do remember there were the questions were long mm -hmm. do you know long questions that come in two parts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not just tell us about yourself, yourself. no yeah. i remember mm -hmm. questions will be in steps yeah and because you're so nervous i remember yeah. i actually had to write the yeah. questions down, down. Yeah. or else i felt like i would have just yeah. fumbled and yeah. repeated myself yeah. so i no i don't remember the questions really well to be honest yeah. i've really tried the questions that I practiced mm. are just not what I was promised. <laughs> so maybe it's not a good thing to be the last person. I honestly don't remember. Yeah. But me, I feel like I, there wasn't any question that was like took me by surprise or something like that because I prepared so much. Like if there was any other person that had prepared like mm. it was me. I like I was on social media almost each and everywhere on LinkedIn. They were like, okay, there's a webinar and it's just I attend in yeah. Ghana. I work yeah. everywhere, everywhere. You guys, this what we're doing right now. Don't take it lightly For because I remember mm -hmm. I did the same thing as you. Yeah. I was on every YouTube page. Like yeah. even if somebody that was their first video ever, yeah. I just listened to it listen because to you it. never know because people's experiences are different. Yeah, yeah, they're so different. And make sure that when we talk like right now take something down or not yeah. unless you are somebody who's like okay i know when listening i'm going to declare everything but if you know that you know take something yeah. down right keep on writing mm -hmm. like there's nothing wrong about that because you need to be fully prepared guys yeah prepared. yeah so there's this other question that they asked me they were like uh who do you look up to did they ask you like mm, i think so yeah. I, I think i did get a question of um, which oh. idol do you see like who do you idolize who do yeah. you consider some yeah, a place like that you want thing. to go to yeah. and it was like a three part question yeah. and I remember just like hmm. <laughs> who can I appoint who yeah. who yeah. Um, yeah so like I said before just make sure you're really informed about your field mm. and who's leading in your field who did you who did you, who did you say I opted for Nelson Mandela there were like so many people so many people I was like okay fine because we have a diverse panelist mm. yeah so I have to make sure that I want to talk about someone whom they probably know. So like, no, that, that like everybody knows Nelson Mandela. Like mm. he is the most known of person course. like everywhere. Mm. So I was like, I had to tell why Nelson Mandela and obviously try to blend the reasons mm. of what I'm doing with what Nelson Mandela did. And it was such yeah. a very good thing and which is, which was like really, really, really good. For me, I didn't have anything to write, but I was just talking using my hands. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I was like overflowing. But I don't want to lie. For the first time, I was very much scared. I was very, very much scared. Yeah. yeah. You guys, when you walk into that room, sit down. Of course, after the introductions are done, yeah. my interview was very very nice they're so like stacy it's okay you can calm down because they understand yeah. you know you've been waiting for this this mm. is the one shot at mm. chevening and there's like seventy thousand applicants Applicant. so you're yeah. nervous yeah so they, they were very nice they're like just breathe take your time we can repeat the questions it's okay you don't have to show you that you know and you understand off the first whatever sometimes for most of us, English is not even our first language. Yeah, and so, they understand. And they understand. So yeah. you can ask, mm. can you re 
repeat the question, question please? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or can I please have a pen and paper so that I can flow, yeah. have a sip of water, yeah, like you know, breathe, like, like, yeah. calm yourself, yeah, because when you're calm, you can be confident, confident yeah. when you're calm, you can speak clearly mm. and you can you can express yourself like what she was saying like very passionately about you can communicate clearly and people can see okay yeah. i understand yeah compared to when you're sitting there you're, you're going over and over the same thing and people are just like mm, i don't quite get what she's saying yeah mm. yeah you know and basically what stacy is saying like guys we from yes we're from african countries but we had almost the same or the similar experience yeah. like they're welcoming and what you need to do is just try to be as much as possible like try to be natural as much as possible yeah. because if you become natural like things are just going to be there and if there's nothing wrong about asking like i did not can you please come mm -hmm. again i also had the same thing because i didn't understand the other lady who was looking like oh my god what mm -hmm. is this? <laughs> i didn't understand there's this other specific word that she said and also the accent was kind of like, mm -hmm. like oh my yeah. goodness like, british accents are different yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh my. and then she, i think she read my my face she's like she doesn't understand then she rephrased the question and then i was like mm, mm -hmm. now i, now I get you. it yeah and then i was like i went by i went by yeah and do you remember how long you took in the in the in the interview room? I think it was twenty minutes. Wow! Wow! Yeah, I think it was twenty to twenty-five minutes max, and wow. I was out. Wow. And if you have to change your university courses, please oh do yeah, sometime. please do. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and they are understanding. Yeah, they are understanding, and that is the only chance that you guys have. If you don't change. Like, once they pay the fees you're done you're like done. you have to suffer through it if you don't like it yeah guys. if yeah. you don't like it yeah and you have to make sure that you do that guys on time like be that leader who's like always on that yeah. roof like yeah and also on the same thing that we we are talking about it's also your responsibility as a shipman like to always keep on checking on your portal like if those schools are really like cor correctly written because if they're not correctly written then it's going to be a problem because some people miss those opportunities and then through a, 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 a what small mistakes yeah, yeah you guys yeah honestly yeah were you on the reserve list or like you weren't i i was so lucky so blessed i just yeah. got mine directly oh me too okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah i got mine directly yeah. too i wasn't yeah. on any reserve list mm. so oh. to those of you guys who might be on the reserve list please make sure that you put everything uh, ready yeah. the aisles if you need to write any aisles like be mm. ready because sometimes some people uh, change their minds even though they have passed the interview they're like i'm no longer going yeah for this and, and some people get other opportunities yeah mm. yeah you know and they're like no i don't want and then they have to call you so you don't want to be called and then be like i'm not ready i haven't done because that deadlines yeah. there are deadlines and you have yeah. to abide by those deadlines so mm. and it's non-negotiable yeah. like what she was saying it's like remember you're competing okay and of course you know by the time we do you're watching this show in the interview stage so you understand yeah. the essence of competition yeah remember it's so many people competing for 1300 mm. positions imagine all over the world oh, oh, yeah. so make sure by the time you're going to the interview your references are ready mm. make sure by the time you're going to the interview if you needed to do language whatever's whatever it is that you needed to do make sure at least by the time you're going to the interview if you can have one admission mm. on, your on your list like push yeah. push 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 for them to give you feedback yeah. because i also think that makes a difference yeah i think yeah. it does too yeah. i think it makes because because i remember i don't know if you guys did it when i was waiting for my interview they brought me a form mm. and they said you need to fill yeah. out the universities you apply to oh. which ones you have unconditional offers and which ones you have conditional offers to oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with us, if, with me, okay, with me, it did. I didn't have to. I just had to say. Oh yeah. yeah. So for 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 me, for us, I think we filled out a form. Mm -hmm. So when you're going into the interview, they get this form from you. You they give you an envelope where, or you can you send your references by soft copy. Mm -hmm. Um, but when you're going to the interview, they have a full idea of when who which mm -hmm. universities have accepted you mm -hmm. so i think that helps yeah that helps try to if the university wants you to do ielts of course they're expensive but try your best to 
to make sure you meet those English language requirements. Yeah. There's some universities that understand yeah. when you tell them you can't do IELTS. Maybe they'll ask you for secondary Duolingo, school, university yeah, or Duolingo yeah, yeah. or TOEFLs. Yeah. So explore. Just be on top of your game with all the information you can. Mm -hmm. Don't just take our word for it. Sit mm -hmm. down, research, mm -hmm. so that you can be in the best position possible. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like, do you have any other words or any other like advice that you probably want to say? Um, I think the one advice I would give people who are in the interview phase first of all congratulations mm -hmm. this is not an, this is not an easy step it's not, it's not. this is a very very big step because yeah. it's bringing you closer to snatching that scholarship mm -hmm. it's like a race and you guys are just like you know yeah um so now you really 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 have to do everything you possibly can mm -hmm. to get to that end right now it's just up to how you are going to present yourself as yeah. a person yeah. you know you did the other you did the writing mm -hmm. now it's there you need to carry that writing in person mm -hmm. when you go there first of all practice practice mm -hmm. is what is going to make you calm mm -hmm. is what is going to make you relaxed mm -hmm. and is what is going to make the interview so much smoother for you mm -hmm. don't go there and panic because yeah. They can sense it. Yeah. They can sense an unprepared person. Okay. These guys have been yeah. doing it for the last 20 God knows what years. Yeah. You know? yeah. So just relax. Drink water. Mm -hmm. If they give you a pen and paper, take the offer. Yeah. Ask as many questions, and but ask them to repeat. Yeah. You know, if it's 10 times, yeah. like, oh, you're not 10 times literally. <laughs> ask them to repeat when mm -hmm. you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Be like, okay, I'm sorry. You know, can you can you repeat that or can you rephrase that? Mm. Um, yeah, and just pray, but practice. Yeah, practice, practice. It. Just it. there is no other way. You have to practice. Seek. Okay, in our country, in Tanzania, we had a mentorship group of the alumni mm -hmm. where they created small groups mm -hmm. for mentors, mm -hmm. so successful applicants mm -hmm. who were successful like five years ago, four mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. So people who are in professional spaces now mm -hmm. they would set time and they would take uh, uh, people who are in the interview stages mm -hmm. through different practices mm -hmm. um, different practice sessions I think they're given that, uh, that some of the draft questions by Chivney mm -hmm. so they, 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 they know like yeah. these are the standard questions yeah. and they share the questions if the interviews have started in one country, mm -hmm. I think they share the different questions that are being asked. Mm -hmm. So try your best to get into LinkedIn groups, mm -hmm. Telegram groups. Everywhere, like, Whoever is talking about chevening interviews, be there. get into that group because yeah. you're just benefiting. Yeah. And yeah. after you're done, you can leave the groups. But <laughs> go into those groups. Just yeah. go into as many as you can. Talk to as many people. There's no shame in asking. This is a stage where... You need as much support as possible. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Okay, guys, that is it. So we'd like to appreciate Stacy for offering us her precious time and dedication. So please, guys, I hope you have learned a lot from what she has said. And we wish you all the yes. best. And that is it from us. Bye, guys. Bye.